and I hear the noise of whisper, I hang my head and cry. All right, guys, made it to our campsite for the night. We were over at Sac West RV Resort. This place is pretty crazy. It's got its own little dog park over there. We have our own little field right here. Tent spots and also RV hookups. But this is just like a huge RV, RV campground. Campland by the Bay over in San Diego. This is kind of what this, this place reminds me of. But it's a huge park. There's actually some waterfront area over there and then you can also rent out these little cabins as well if you don't have an rv or some type of um, rooftop tent or tenting but we have this whole little like corner area to ourselves maybe 50 bucks a night or something like that maybe 60. definitely a lot cheaper than any airbnb you would be able to get out in sacramento area so this is going to be night three of our california adventure sleeping in the truck hopefully carly's uh enjoying herself is what i'm hoping it's kind of nomad lifestyle but it's been a lot of fun thus far so hopefully you guys are enjoying it again i will put all of our itinerary down below if you guys are interested in a trip like this honestly if we came back i think we would do lake tahoe as its own adventure so lake tahoe to sacramento it's less than like an hour and a half drive less than two hour drive or something like that lake tahoe there's a ton of stuff to do it, it was gorgeous out there we would totally move out there <laughs> if uh if we had the chance eight hours in a day is pretty tough so i think what we would end up doing is driving four hours uh staying the night in tonopah and go to the mizpah which if you guys have seen our um halloween youtube video for last year we went to the mizpah and did a couple ghost tours caught a couple pictures saw some weird things so we stay the night over in tonopah and then continue the drive to lake tahoe and then probably spend like five five six days out there we're actually just here in sacramento tonight um, i'm actually meeting up with my cousin and my aunt and uncle who live out here so shout out to them for uh hosting us tonight and we're gonna go have some dinner at their place and just chill we really haven't been indoors lately so it was cool like at the brewery we were just at where we were able to be inside with the dog because it's kind of tough every time like we have the dog with us and we're traveling we always have to sit outside you know there has to be an outdoor thing where dogs can be allowed so it's always fun to like get inside or like go to a place that allows dogs indoors which is really nice carly's showering right now so there are full bathrooms also river access so you can get out here and go do some fishing if you wanted to but each site has a grill it's got a fire pit and then it's got a little picnic table over here as well the dog park over here and then the office slash restaurant there's a restaurant that you can order food from out here and they'll deliver it to your camp spot which is freaking sweet so the bathrooms are right across the way from us. How'd it go? It's really nice. Yeah? Get some hot water? Hot water. It was. was it a private toilet too? Private toilet, private everything. Private. <laughs> so everything you needed to uh, feel clean again. There was hooks and a mirror and plugs and nice. water and everything you need. Awesome. All right guys, we're walking around the RV park. So this is why I don't think you would want to swim in here. Well, it says no swimming. I don't think you'd want to fish in here. Rio. I, I don't think anything lives in this lake. So crawdads. Crawdad. Good morning from Sacramento, guys. Just waking up. Gonna start getting coffee ready. Today starts our wine country leg of the trip. So we're gonna be spending the next two days in Sonoma, Napa Valley area.
So doing breakfast quesadillas tonight guys got some Canadian bacon eggs and some onions How's it going? Yep. Breakfast quesadilla, y'all. So this is what the Sackwest RV park looks like. So there is a fishing pond here. Supposedly you don't need a fishing license for it, but it's pretty uh, very algae-esque. They say not to swim in it because things may be growing in there. But a ton of RV spots, and then we got a basketball court, RV dump. There are tent spots along the side right here, as well as up here. So we are at this big spot right here that lines the corner, and then the dog parks over here. So that's why we got this big field in front of us. Really awesome spot. We really like this area. And I believe it was about $55 a night, and the bathrooms are really nice, showers are really nice. I'm actually about to take a shower right now. Time to go. Before we head to wine country, we need to do a couple stops before we we head off. We need to go to Ulta, because Carly needs some stuff. And uh, we gotta go find some water. And we're gonna go do, go do some grocery shopping later. But, let's go. The dog on day four of our adventure. She is so tired. <laughs> of the day refilling our water tank five gallons it's lasted us about four days thus far so pretty good only two bucks to uh, to refill and I found this spot over at I overlander Coming back with some wine. So the wine tasting was a really good deal. We got six different wines for $20 each. But if you buy a bottle of wine, your wine tasting prices will go towards that. So we just paid for two wines and for, a, for both of us to get wine tastings, it was only like 50 bucks, which is an awesome deal. So thanks again, Wooden Valley. We had a great time. Some poutine and I think brisket. 
Yeah. And we got their local wings here. We're at a place called Brewster's in Pelo Peloma. Petaluma. I cannot say this. I cannot say the city's name. <laughs> Alright guys, we are at the KOA Petaluma. We are here for the next two nights. So here's our spot we got. Not the most private, but oh well. It's cheap. We spent the day hitting up some wine and uh, exploring the town. The KOA has uh, multiple, multiple amenities. They got a big trampoline, they got a pool, they got showers and a bathroom, and they got a petting zoo. <laughs> oh, they got some cornhole over here. There's a big, big trampoline right here. So right by our camp, I've got some cows over here. What up, cows? Mini pie from Angela's ice cream. It's called a crack pie. Carly's already had a bite, but try a little bit of this. It's definitely a fork pie. The crust is like perfectly crisped with the chocolate and the caramel. It really tastes like crack. You want some green tea, decaf? Good morning. He just saw you. Look at those teeth. Oh my gosh. Go for her. So we're trying out our new piece of camp cooking gear, it's the Stanley Base Camp. Not the pro version, but like the step down. This is kind of like the big brother of the current pot that we use. We got some bowls, we got a pan. We got a drying rack, and then there's some utensils inside of inside of this thing. Thank you. 
<laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to make myself not look bald. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Today is day six. We are starting our Pacific Coast Highway leg of the trip. Today we're leaving Petaluma, and then we are making our way to Santa Cruz, which we rented an Airbnb out there since Carly needs a break <laughs> from... <laughs> Carly needs a break from, from rooftop tent life right now, but I ended up renting a tent, an Airbnb tent. <laughs> so we're staying in a tent regardless, but there is going to be a bed. Uh, so we're going to mosey on over there. It's about a three hour drive from this location. We're going to stop by Half Moon Bay. There's like a bakery. There's a beach Hawaiian place that we want to check out. So we're going to take our time this morning, but we did wake up a little bit earlier so that we can get ready and get started for the day. Having some cold brew right now and I'm going to warm up some fried rice on the mega blue jet boil. Our uh, breakfast coffee this morning. Instead of buying individual ones, we uh, decided to buy a big one. The collapsible Tupperware has been coming in handy, so we're gonna warm up some fried rice that we made yesterday. Luckily, there is a, a dishwashing station here, which is really nice. Putting all the dirty dishes inside the bin over here. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here just to help it um, steam and cook a little bit faster. Cook. 